So hey you guys, I am back with another video. Um, in this video, I decided to go for a pink ombre look with these nails. Um, the nails, these kind of nails that comes in this box is not too long. So um, I just decided to snip the just snip the top a little bit um but with these i'm just doing a simple set today um and my curtains are blown in the back you guys because my son has opened up my door but um don't be alarmed <laughs> it's just the wind and i also have my window up so that the films can go out the window but yeah, so with this set, I'm just, um, I've already prepped the nails, um, in the beginning as far as removing the shine off of the mannequin nail tips. And right here, I'm just making sure that the nails, um, that they all fit from side to side and that they all fit perfectly, um, uh, which they do. And if you guys ever wonder um, why that thumb is always not done, I just don't ever do it. There's no specific reason. I just don't do it. But as you guys see, I am getting a little bit better with the angle of uh, my camera. I wanted to play with it a little bit to see um, how I can position and angle things a little bit better so that you guys can actually see a little bit more of what I do. But right here, I'm just snipping the tip of the nails, not really cutting the nails down. And with me snipping, I'm just literally clipping the sides because once I get the shape going, this just pretty much make the uh, make the process more quick and easy once you are filing and forming the shape of your nails well to me it does and here i am just filing um and forming the shape that i will like on this mannequin hand and even though this one uh, requires that you snip the tips on i find this one to be a bit more easier than the uh, ones that you guys see on my station the little stiff mannequin hands because they are a piece of work but with this one they are a bit more flexible and um, I find that it's a bit more realistic than the ones that are standing stiff so I like to work with this one more often than the others so right here that little finger just slipped off but it's easy to just snip it right back on and get back to my work and filing so i'm just making sure that my shape is yeah it flipped off again but it's okay but i'm just making sure that my shape is exactly how i want it and i think i did pretty good with these as well and like i said in previous videos I do have to buy more products, more stencils, um, more nail art brushes, a whole lot of things. But right now, I'm going to stick to the basics until I get great. I feel like I get better and better each video, but enough of all of that. Um, but here, you guys, I am just filing the sides evenly so that my shape is not uneven because if you foul too much on one side you will find yourself not being able to really form um, that perfect look that you're going for because it's going to kind of be hard to fix it um i don't do any counts um as to how many times i foul one side to the other you can pretty much just kind of eye it and making sure that your shape is the way that you will like it on either side to kind of form everything toward the middle. And that just pretty much brings out the overall shape that you want. 
And here I'm really just um, filing across that line where the natural nail and the tip actually meets. You just want to remove that and kind of blend it in to make it look a bit more natural. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, just lightly filing that part. And we're not trying to file down um, and make the nail itself the natural nail thin a bit more thin so I'm just fouling and fouling and fouling here alrighty so I am using alcohol here just to pretty much um, remove the dust and what have you and just showing you guys pretty much what I use um, again, right now, the products that I am using is Mia Secret, um, colored acrylic powders, and also just their regular um, acrylic powders, as well as their monomer. Um, so far, it does work pretty good. I just want to try different brands and different colors, just to kind of see what other collections will work for me as well. But here I'm just laying down my pink and with me laying down my pink I'm going to do that on each of my nails so here I am just going to continue with this step and afterwards you will see me use my new to bring in that ombre look but I am just going to continue this process and let you guys
So it was a little undecided on uh, what design I was going to do or what I wanted to do different other than just doing ombre nail, well, ombre nails. So I decided to do some folds on two of the nails and some black stones on the other two. So right here, I was just pretty much breaking up the foil into little pieces. And I'm just putting down just some type of wet liquid. Um, and I just chose to use the monomer, just a little bit of that, to um, put and apply toward the nail or well, on the nail itself. That way, I can kind of place the foils where I needed them to go. And to make the process a little bit easier when once I actually encapsulate everything in and that's going to take place of course once I get everything laid on top I'm going to then go over and apply my pink acrylic on top to seal everything in. So here I'm just laying down those little folds. Um, I decided to do black and it actually blended in pretty nice. And the look that I went for was like a matte look. So I did use the matte top coat for these nails. And like I said, they did turn out pretty cute. And they were pretty. So here you see that I'm just sealing everything in with the last layer of acrylic and just encapsulating those folds in that way they do not move go anywhere especially when I do start to foul that seals everything in so you have to make sure that you have enough acrylic to top everything off not too much because you don't want the nails bulky and you don't want them too thick, especially once you start to um, do your finishing fouling. Well, I call it the finishing fouling. <laughs> so, uh, once you are done, you don't have to... When you do actually apply the, the acrylic and you do your shaping in the beginning, once you lay everything down proper, properly, um, you don't have to do much fouling. Even though you put the acrylic on, sometimes it'll kind of take the shape away just a little bit, but not as much. So, as long as you seal and lay everything down right to where you don't have to do so much um, fouling when you use your e-file, then all you do is go back and redefine the shape slightly. So, once I'm done with this, you'll see that I don't have too much fouling to do because everything pretty much stayed the same. And I just wanted to redefine the shape. So, here I am just going over each nail to seal each one of them in with a top coat of pink acrylic. And once I am done here... I am then going to apply my black stones on the ones that does not have the black foil on it. So I am just going to continue with no more interruptions unless I have to. But um, I'm just going to continue and let you guys watch me finish everything up. So I hope that you guys enjoy and again, I, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate the love and support and just ask that you guys continue to support me on this awesome journey. So I'm just going to let you guys get back to the video and I hope that you guys like and enjoy.